Okay, so now we're starting on browning the meatballs. Right now I have the sauce in a pretty good shape over here. I wanted to get the sauce to this point where everything is in here that needs to be in here. Just about, we'll be adding a few more spices as we go. Herbs. Um, but this is what you want to have so the meatballs can go straight from the pan into the sauce. Okay, so now for this here, I'm going to get too brown. That's the salt, that's the uh, salt pork. We've been browning that just to get the fat. So we'll take this out here. We're going to keep all the grease in the pan. Okay. Try to get all these out because you don't want this stuff to burn as you're browning the meatballs. And we're going to put meatballs in there. You want this pan to be really hot. This is a non-stick stick pan that I pretty much ruined already from the high heat, but it's just dedicated for the meatballs. So we want to use them anyway. Okay. I do about half of the meatballs I've rolled out in one pan. And while we're doing this here, we're going to want to use two wooden spoons to roll this around. Don't let it sit in one spot too long. And keep rolling it around. So I remember my grandmother making these meatballs when I was a kid at my grandparents' house. And my grandfather would watch Hamlet Pin Bowling. That's where they had the little thin bowling pins. It was called Bowling for Dollars. I think that would have been probably late 70s. And I'd sit there and watch Bowling for Dollars with my grandfather. Probably could smell the meatballs being cooked in the kitchen by my grandmother. One of the memories I have when I cook these. So what you want to do here, oh, my grandfather would also, on a TV tray, he would get a um, fresh block of Parmesan cheese, and while he's watching the, the uh, candle pen bowling, he would grate the uh, Parmesan cheese into a jar. It takes a while to grate that stuff, so he's doing it while he's washing cheese things. That was his job. He was a cheese grater. We always had fresh Parmesan cheese whenever we had a meal. And you put it in a bowl with a spoon, and you just pour it on your food. Okay, so what you're doing here is you're really not cooking the meatballs, you're just searing them. So you can lock in the juices, and then you get it right into the meat, into the sauce. And what's good about this here is, this is cooking in the salt pork grease. You're going to take it right from the pan, put it in the sauce, and that grease is actually going to get in the sauce. And we'll be pulling a lot of it out of the sauce later with a spoon, but that flavor is going to get in the sauce. The pork flavor, which is real important. Okay, well that's brown in there. I'm going to take these sausages that I've already browned. We're going to, we're going to add those to the sauce, not in the pan. <laughs> How long each one are you? <laughs> okay, it goes in there. We got all the sausages on there. Okay, that's that's getting it. This right here, you see this brown right there? It's almost like a crusty brown. That's what we're shooting for. Like on all sides, if you can do it. Sometimes you gotta take meatballs and kind of hold it like this. So it's a weird shape. You'll never get a perfectly round meatball. If you do, they weren't homemade. I can tell you that right now. Okay. So in here, I'm going to keep doing that. I'll let that sit for a minute and I'll stir. Get the sausages in there real nice. Looking good. Okay. I'm almost there. Now after I do these meatballs, I'll do these other six I have over here, and then we'll do the pork chops. Okay, I'm going to see here. Okay, now we're going to put them in the, in the sauce, like that. 
Okay, and I'll come back later. Okay, so now we have all the meats are in a sauce. As you can see here, we have the, the uh, meatballs, we have sausages, and we got pork chops that are browned in there. Very nice. Okay, this is going to simmer for a while. Look at too close, it's going to fog up. Okay, uh, we'll let this simmer for uh, probably another two, three hours. So I'm going to keep watching it as we go. I'm going to slowly stir it. One thing when you have meat in here, don't just dive your fork in the center because you'll start breaking the meatballs up and the, and the sausage. I'm going to go down the side and then pull and spin around like that. Down the side and in, down the side and stir. So if you're going to stir with meats, always go to the side first. That way you're not breaking anything up. Okay? All right, now, at this point here, I will add just a little bit more parsley. Do taste in this first here, real quick. Mmm. Mmm. This is like a soup. You could eat this in a bowl. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. Mmm. Okay. It needs a little bit more oregano. Add more pepper. And we're going to slowly stir that in because we have nice precious meat in there we don't want to break up. And then we will let that cook for a good long time, but we're going to keep an eye on it. And one thing I will come back and show you is that after this has been cooking for a while, a lot of grease is going to rise to the top because after a while you're going to want to not stir it and let it sit and let it bubble a little bit because that's going to let the grease come to the top and then we're going to cool off the grease. You say I've already taken a little bit off here already. But as it pools to the top, you're gonna get the back of the spoon and pull out your grease. And I will come back when we're at that point.